So new at five, single sex bathroom access is the center of a new bill at the Ohio State House that is already drawing opposition. House Bill 183 had its first committee meeting this afternoon and the bill would require public chartered non-public schools and institutions of higher education to designate specific bathrooms and locker rooms for the exclusive use of students of the male and female biological sex. One of the bill's sponsors, Representative Adam Byrd, says the speculation is about safety. The, le the legislation, I should say, is about safety. To be sure young females are not harmed in a restroom by a biological male. He says people across the state are begging for the bill. Opponents say the legislation is harmful. I don't think it's harmful. I think the opposite of that. This bill is important for multiple reasons. Number one, superintendents across the state of Ohio are asking for a bill like this. Number two, it's about protection. We want to make sure that we're protecting our kids. They are a concerted effort to basically chase trans people out of public life. We're looking at another bill that targets a very small sliver of the population. And it's a population that is uh, sexually assaulted at the same rate as cisgender women in college, and yet they are being treated like assailants. The bill does have 21 Republicans signed on to it. It will likely have a second committee hearing within the next few weeks, and there will be a chance for both proponents and opponent testimony.